Now that we've created a JSON file, and if you haven't or don't know how to, in the comments I'll leave a link to go watch that video. Let's create uh, the, the data usage in Edge. First thing I'm going to do is grab the rectangle tool and I am just going to draw out a rectangle. I'm not going to even change the name. I usually do, I know, but I'm not going to. Okay. We're going to need that rectangle, so don't be messing with it. I'm going to lock it. Now I'm going to grab another rectangle, and I'm going to draw out how big I want my to hold my data. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to grab my text tool, and I'm going to make a text. So we're going to go first, and uh, name, first name, okay. And remember that short one we did only had three uh, data elements in it, so I'm going to hold my option key and drag straight down. That'll be the last name, and then we'll have age. Now I'm going to expand these this field all the way over to I don't know, about there, and I'm going to do it with each one of them. The good part is, is when we get close to the end, note that the smart guide comes up. I love that feature. Drag that over, and there we go. So they're about the same. And I will make this last name, and then we'll change this to age. Now we haven't really, we just did this for ourselves, so we need to also change the names over here in the properties. I'll just put first, and then I'll click on this one, and I'll change it to last. And then I will come over here and I will do the same thing. And I will change that to age. So now we've got that all set. So now I'm just going to grab those elements, the rectangle, all the way up to age. So I've got everything I want. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to modify. And I am going to convert to symbol. And I can name this anything. I'm just going to call it uh, my names. And OK. Notice that that put that over in the symbol button right there. And I'm going to delete it from the stage. And I'm like, wait, you deleted it from the stage. Aren't we going to need this? Yes, but not right this second. Next thing we need to do is before we even get into doing the coding, we have to go get the script. So I'm going to jump over to Safari. And we're going to go to jQuery.com. Go to the big download button, scroll down to the CDN, and all I need is from the code to the JS. I will copy that, and I can close this, and I will come over here and plus the plus sign, plus the plus sign, press the plus sign from URL, and I will paste that in, and now we've got the coding, the beginning of the coding that we need. Okay, time to do the code. Yay! So first we need to open the code window. There you go. And we need to go across in the stage and click the plus sign and get creation complete. Now we start to code. So we're going to start with a dollar sign because we're talking right to jQuery. We are not talking to, to Edge at all. Dot get JSON open parentheses, open double quotes, close double quotes, comma, right? Now we're going to go back and say, now what, what goes right here between these double quotes? Well, that would be the JSON file. So I can bebop over to my desktop, which I'm going to do, desktop, and I have a JSON file in a folder named names, the short JSON. Clever, right? Okay, so let's bop back. And so that would go right there. That is the JSON file I intend to use. Okay. Pretty easy, right? After that, we have a comma, and then we're going to add a function. And we're going to write this function. And the function is going to accept a parameter called data. Okay. And then we're going to open a curly brace and hit a couple returns. Give us some space. I'm going to pop back underneath there. Now, I do this every time because... 
you know, it's really easy to screw up when you do this stuff. So I always go with a very JavaScript thing called the console dot log open parentheses. Now what am I going to do? I, I always tell myself what it is. So say my data. Oops, let's give it a colon. Okay. And a comma. And what is my data? Well, it's the data here. That's what we're looking for, D-A-T-A. -A. And we'll close the parentheses. And I'll hit me a semicolon. And they all ran away with the cheese. And I will make sure this is all closed up. You notice there's an open parentheses right here. I need to close it in a semicolon. If I click off and then I click back, it's there's no errors. So I'm going to do something that's going to look stupid. I'm going to go. I'm going to go preview and browser. Command return or file. Preview and browser. 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 And there's nothing there. But because I set up my um, Safari with a Developers tab, I'm going to look at the Web Inspector, and there's nothing there. And I'll tell you why. Because it says, look, it failed to load, not found. Well, I'll tell you why. I'm going to jump back to Edge. I didn't save it. If you don't save it, you get this, nothing. So I'm going to hide that. And I'm going to save this with an Edge. And I'll, I'll just call it... Um, Jason, oh good, there's one called stuff. I'll do that, S-T-U-F-F. -F. And I'm going to put it in the same folder as my names file, because there's where my JSON is. And I'm going to save it. Whoops, see this little thing here? I checked that. That is so much problems. I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to go back to my, go back to the browser, command return. And again, you don't see anything. But when we go to the developer, look at the web. Aha! objects my data what i called it got to look down here because it's a long way down and if you flip this down there's the age and the name and each one of those is right there cool right so we know that we've connected the json file that's a good thing so let's go back to our other file now now we need to do something with it Okay, and the things that we need to do with it is we need to put some of that data where it belongs. So I'm going to go for a new line, and in that new line, I'm going to do a dollar sign again, talking right to um, the jQuery, and I'm going to say each, which means for each one, each one of what for each data, comma, there's a function. And in that function, there's something called the index. Remember we, we, when we made the um, JSON file, we basically made an array which has an index, 0 through whatever, comma, and then the item. And the item is the different things that we made, you know, first name, last name, whatever. Close that. Open a curly brace. Hit a couple returns, because you always got to hit a couple returns, no matter what. Notice we got the red dot. That's because we have uh, still have this open, see that open brace right there? Parentheses, so I'll close the parentheses in a semicolon. Red dot goes away. We like that. Now, we're almost there. We need to create a variable, var, var. And I call mine d for data. I would write a whole thing out, but it's like I don't want to keep writing something out. One letter's just fine. Equals, now we're talking to edge. S Y M dot create child with capital C symbol with a capital S okay and in open parentheses open double quotes comma double quotes open and close close parentheses and semicolon now what goes in here well, we need to create the child symbol based on our other stuff. So I need to know what to put in here. We have a symbol. Remember, I created an original symbol over here called my names. So I'm going to add that in there. That would be the first thing. What we're going to base it on, my names. Okay, cool, cool, right? And then where are we putting it? Well, we're going to put it over here. I'm going to unlock that. Put it over here in the rectangle. And if I go and test right now, 
There you go. First name, last name, age, right? Perfect. Just we want. It doesn't scroll yet, but we will get there. We will get there. And okay, we will get there. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to start putting in some of that data. So how do we do that? Well, remember D right here? D, every time we create a symbol, so D, every time that happens, we need to talk to jQuery, so dollar sign, open parentheses, double quotes, close parentheses, dot, HTML, open parentheses, item, dot and then it's going to be the name of that item so in the I think we called the first one first we'll check on that I'm gonna go back and check on it so where do we want to put the first name well we can easily just double click the symbol for names and we can see that it's called first so first now if I want to check my JSON data I can jump over to my um, desktop and I will Where's my desktop? We will pop down to the desktop. There we go. Names. And here we go. We have the short. And I'm going to open that up so I can take a quick look uh, at it. I'll just open with uh, Text Wrangler because I like Text Wrangler. And the first one's first, the second one's last, and age. Pretty straightforward. But it's always good to check if you can't remember, right? Exactly. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it and instead of first we'll have last and then we'll have the item of course would be last. I uh, forgot the semicolons, semicolon, semicolon and then I can paste the last one instead of first this would be age, dunk, dunk. age and item age and that's a semicolon. So let's see what we got. Command return. Ooh, look. Nancy Smith 59, Andy Smith 47. But we don't have a scroll, so we would have to fix that. And we can do that pretty easily. So let's uh let's go and do a little bit of other work here. Make sure this scrolls. Go to the stage. Click on the rectangle. And you can put auto and return and give it a second. Oh, look, there's everybody. Isn't that awesome or what? Now, just for fun, I thought I would add something else. Let's go to the code window. This, this is a nothing more than a CSS type, you know, an HTML stuff. We could do some messing around with the CSS. So let's do this. Let's say if item dot age equals notice I use two equal signs that means it's got to be absolute 59 if that's true open some curly braces and what do we want to have happen well let's say let's make the let's open find out the name of the back uh, rectangle be D dot because remember we're going all the way into that uh, particular modem you know piece dollar sign right open parentheses and let's say um, what's the thing we want to do well we want to change the rectangle to to close that dot CSS all right open parentheses open curly brace open double quotes close double quotes colon open couple quotes close double quotes curly brace parentheses semicolon so what do we want to have happen well I'm gonna make the background color background hyphen color turn red I could put a hex sign in there so let's let's see what happens when we do that I hope this works oh it worked because the only one in here at age 59 was Nancy and if any of the other ones had been in here it would have turned red as well so I know that's rudimentary, but use your imagination and figure out the kind of things you want to do with this. I'm done. It was fun. Adios.